Sports.
Welcome everyone to LSU's Tiger Stadium, one of the most intimidating environments in all of sports. This Death Valley crowd has been getting ready and hyped for this one. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the 12th ranked team, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. from inside the tent. Gets it to the 25-yard line, and that's where they start the drive. Big hey guys up front lined up. It's first down. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. Looking for some space. It's Jackson. That one takes it across the 30-yard line. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game. Boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Receiver makes the grab. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. The quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. Okay, Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Testing the right side here. Running with purpose. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. Well, it's great to see this quarterback from LSU make that throw and put it right on the money to pick up that first down. And I think that's the big thing that LSU fans want to see is consistency from the quarterback position. There have been moments where you've seen that. There have been other moments where they've been asking for more out of their quarterback. So you had the Burrow moment in 2019 that was historic, one of the best we've ever seen in the sport. But now you want to see throws like this and be a great complement to that running game. And then you become a complete package and a real threat in the SEC. A completion makes it second in medium. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. A nice little simple touch pass here by the quarterback, getting the ball out to the receiver who's in motion. Look, that doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. And no offense is ever going to say no to moving the chains. LSU getting set with a first and ten coming up. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. 
They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Here the defense was committed to stop the run. And in an RPO, that's a dangerous thing to do. The quarterback sensed that, just pulled the ball out, got it out to the right flat for some good yards. Ready, LSU is now operating in the red zone. kind of play is almost impossible to defend when the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing and the receiver runs a route like this good luck trying to stop it so maybe this is a great start for this combination this quarterback and receiver for a big day getting set to kick the ball off now this one is not returnable it's out of the back of the end zone Throwing here to start the drive. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. A solid eight yard gain brings up a second and two. Well, last time they played, as has happened quite often in the rivalry, it was Alabama making just enough plays, Kirk, to win a close one. And Chris, in that matchup, Alabama just proved to be so much better coached on both sides of the ball, able to escape with a narrow victory. LSU feels this year will be different. It's an opportunity to avenge such a close loss. They tackle him at the 48, but it's enough for a new first down. Chris, I don't know. There's just something about that Bama uniform. When they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen, a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful play. Quick throw caught on the left side. Finds room at the 30. That's a big game. The offense is threatening now. Spot the ball at the 22. Boy, nice job here by this offense, creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Looking to pass here on second down. Oh, the pass is picked off. Not much on the return, but they create the turnover. comes that LSU offense back onto the field. Passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. Both there are in space now. Tackle made on the play at the 29-yard line. Chris, I know when we think about LSU, we go back to 2019. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson. That dynamic offense. But at the end of the day, it's still LSU. It's still the SEC. And ground and pound is something they will never move away from. Great job here. And move the sticks. You set it down to the offense. First and ten. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. They test the middle and get stuck. That is just not open for business today. 
The game goes back to 1895, Kirk, but as you know, it's begun to pick up intensity, this rivalry, because they are always in each other's way in the SEC. Yeah, this rivalry doesn't necessarily have the history, even though it does go back to 1895, but you're right. Things seem to change when the SEC split east and west. And the pass is intercepted, a takeaway for the defense. Not much on the return, but the takeaway sets up the offense at the 41. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a gain there. I know the toss play begins with a guy taking a snap. He turns it around and flips it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, is can they set the edge as an offense? Whether it's an offense tackle, a tight end in that same direction that where they want to run the ball. Because if they can do that, you get the result that you want just like this. If you don't, oftentimes, the play is blown up right at the line of scrimmage. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. And he dumps it off to the tight end. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. On the run, it's Miller. Runner finally brought down, but at the five-yard line, defense getting pushed back here. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. Defense will make the stop. It will probably be the final play of this opening quarter. First play of the quarter is a crucial one. Offense trying to convert this third down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And they'll stop him just short of the mark. Good effort, but the defense holds. Now it's fourth down. Defense bringing out some big fellas trying to stuff the run here. And he's throwing for it on fourth down. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bama. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. And the point after is good. The PAT ties the game here in the second quarter now. Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. He'll lead the kickoff right there. We'll start with the 25. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. Bringing pressure. And it's incomplete, even on a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. 
and he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. An important third down attempt for this offense. Moving to the second level of the defense now. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Just not a lot of room there on the RPO on third down for the offense. Give the defense a lot of credit. They sat back initially, and then they overcommitted to stop that running game, and it worked out. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. It's a low punt. Won't travel very far. This will be touched down just inside the 40. into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Here comes a handoff. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Well, have to throw it here on second down. Looking for his big tight end. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position. And being... Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. There's a nice play by this defense after giving up a huge game. They're able to turn things around, recalibrate, and get after that quarterback for that sack. That sack makes it second down and forever. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Breaking free at the 35. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, it's one thing to hear about how fast this receiver is in the scouting report. You look at him on film all week. The defense coordinator tells you, get ready, this guy can run. And then the reality comes, and this guy can fly. You see it again here. Nice catch. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. He'll hand it off. One down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense getting set. It's second down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Caught near the goal line. And he's in. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Number five. Catch and score. Now the all-important extra point. And the extra point makes the lead 14-7. Now they get set to kick it away. That one bounces through the end zone, so they'll start at the 25. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Off the play fake, looking to throw. And that's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. And you gotta love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time they got to him 
forced that incompletion. Getting set. Here's second down. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Snags a quick throw. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. It was a first and 10 play. It was a great completion here. Quarterback puts this ball on the money. And, and, and when you talk about LSU and you talk about the history, it's easy to bring up Joe Burrow in 2019. But Chris, you've been following this as long as I have. You know that when LSU is really dangerous, they get consistent play from the quarterback. Doesn't have to be Burrow, but just a guy that can be efficient be a good leader and complement the running game. And right now you're starting to see that from this team. Good completion. Now can you do it consistently? Because if you can, with the athletes they have around that position, they become a real threat. LSU getting set with a first and ten now. Play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And it's incomplete, just out of the reach of the receiver. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between the quarterback and the receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, that's going to cost you. And he's back to throw again on second down. Catch is made behind the line of scrimmage. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. And the offensive line does everything they can to try to protect the quarterback, to give him enough time to find an open receiver. But there's nobody there downfield. He ends it up throwing it to the back. But how about the speed of this defense? Now you're looking at a third down. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Cannot connect. Incomplete. And now fourth down. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things. And it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw on this play. Fourth down now. Time for perhaps one more play before we hit the two-minute warning. Quarterback making some changes at the line. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Contact as he threw it. And it's intercepted. Not much on the return there, but the takeaway will set up the offense at the 38. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They got off to a slow start, but they had been clicking lately. Can they build on this lead now in the second quarter? It's a shotgun run call. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Now it's second down here. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Caught near the sticks. It's law. Brought down, but the game moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. Looking to throw now on first down. Pass not complete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. So after the incompletion, it's second down. He hands it off from the gun. And the freshman brings him down quickly. You know, 
in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught over the middle. It's Law. Brought down to the 27. It's a first down. This offense really threatening now. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And, man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Makes the catch. Can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Man, I love running backs that can hurt you on the ground and through the air. The defense this time just underestimates his ability to catch the ball. And then the speed afterwards, it's a touchdown. With the extra point, the lead is 14. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff. We'll see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. And from deep in the end zone, he'll bring it out. Solid coverage here. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. But crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Looking for a deep completion. And he throws his third interception of the day. That's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. Well, it looks like somebody did a great job of preparing himself to get ready for this football game. It's his second interception in this game so far. Obviously reviewed the tape, is locked in on his fundamentals. That's a big-time player making big-time plays. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And they tackle him, but a nice pickup on that running play. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Miller. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. And the offense spends their final time out of the half here to talk strategy. Looks like one more play here before halftime. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tied. That's playing to the echo of the whistle here in this first half. They just keep pouring it on. Why not just continue to be aggressive? It's worked out so far for them. What a big lead they've worked up now here in this first half. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. They convert the PAT, so the lead is now 21. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. All right, let's get the second half going now. The kickoff team is out there. The 
return begins inside the 10. But he's got some space here. Goes out of bounds at the 34. That's a pretty good return. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. He'll throw it now. With the catch, it's Lewis. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Looking for a gap, it's Miller. And they bring him down after a solid game, but it's still well short from the first down marker. Second down after that run on the previous play. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, a wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either the receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Third down after that running play. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Receiver makes the catch. They get him at the 42, good enough for a first down. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. inside give now from the shotgun and the second effort there will earn him the first down well, this offense continues to roll we wondered would this defense come up with some answers at halftime not on that play now they've tried to make every adjustment they can this offense has been very impressive with the way they're able to keep this ball on the ground churning out big yards i think they're gaining more confidence really as this game goes on looking to throw it on first down Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Well, LSU for years has played a one-gap defense that loves to pin their ears and get upfield. It's a risky defense, and it requires great athleticism on the defensive line, something that they've had forever. Great sack here to keep that tradition alive. But you think back over the years, Booger McFarlane and Marcus Spears and Glenn Dorsey and off the edge, Kiki Mingo, just so many great LSU defensive linemen that can get after that quarterback. Second down, we're going to throw it. Looking to make a play deep downfield. The mass is dropped incomplete. Would have had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. On the set. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And he's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. But he just felt that one coming. Third down and long. Those defensive linemen are in that sprinter stance. They know the offense is going to have to throw. Great job of using that athletic ability and speed to get after the quarterback to come up with that sack. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. They'll hand it off. 
The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. Here's the second down play. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. And he's hit right as he throws it incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he'd do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Dropping back. It's Nussmeyer. Looking for the wide out. Oh, downfield catch made on the left side. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Off the play fake on first down. Looking to scramble. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Well, this quarterback's trying to do everything he can to give this play a chance. He gets out of the pressure off to his right. Man, did he take a hit. He wasn't able to complete this pass. On the ready. That play makes it second and 10. Quick throw to the left side. He's got it for a big game. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Great play call by the offensive coordinator. Outstanding job of executing by the quarterback. With the defense trying to stop the run, the quarterback felt that, made a nice throw to the receiver. And look at this result, some positive yards. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. They're finally able to stop him. The quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Caught over the middle. It's Turner. That's a big hit at the end, but he earned a fresh set of downs. LSU getting set with a first and ten coming up. Quarterback making adjustments down to what the defense is showing. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Pulls it in. It's Thomas. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball inside the ten-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And the single back takes the handoff. And they try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take a lead in this game at some point. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. They're trying to run it with the option. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Loss of three. Now, fourth down. Got it. The offense trailing here in the second half. This is a crucial fourth down try. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Makes the catch, and that is enough for a first down. They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. Boy, a risky decision here to go for it inside the red zone on fourth down, and you come up with a first down. I love that aggressive approach. Let's see if they can come up with a touchdown here to finish off this drive. Another interception. That's number four today. Are you kidding me? Not much on the return, but they snuff out the drive with the takeaway. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. 
will hand it off. A tackle and behind the line, a loss of four. So this defense finally makes a play that's one of the few negative plays for this offense today. Yeah, you said it, Chris. They don't have the easiest road to climb back in this one, but little plays like that can be points of positivity of what coaches will likely focus on as they move forward. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. The sure hands. It's Prentice. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. At the 20. Past the 10. Touchdown, Bama. And the beatdown continues. Well, that's why this wide receiver is one of the best in the country. Makes a routine catch, and look what he does with it. Takes it almost a length of the field for a touchdown. Extra point try coming now. The extra point is good. Now it's a four touchdown lead, 35-7. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. So no return on this one. Ball just.